It's Beer and Food O'Clock on Real Craft Beer. Today we got a can of Hummingbird by Four Peel Brewing Company. It's a raspberry hibiscus sour ale coming in at 5.4% ABV. There's a look at the label. And we're going to be pairing it with a pucker minced beef and onion microwave short crust pie. So I'm going to bang these in the microwave and then we'll get the beer out. Just microwave this pie, it smells fantastic. It, it looks okay too. First of all though, beer. Let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Oh, look at this. I do like Four Pure Brewing Company. They make a good range of beer. I mean, this in Tesco is just fantastic, isn't it? A, a, a raspberry looking sour in Tesco in 2019 for three pound a can. Fantastic. Right, so there's no head. You don't really get a head to that much on this style of beer anyway. Uh, slow moving carbonation, there's a slight haze on it. A cherry raspberry colored beer, slight haze, aroma. Yeah, it smells pretty good. It's got that like tanning aroma of cherries or raspberries or something like that. Like a dried fruit. It smells lovely. Ra raspberry hibiscus sour. Let's dive in to this hummingbird. Cheers everyone. <laughs> oh yeah, Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, that has got a lovely sourness to it. Scratch my nose again. And um, a lovely sourness to it. It's really sharp mouth puckering. I put it in the fridge, cooled it down. Lovely and refreshing. A really kind of clean, drinking, refreshing beer. Lovely sourness to it, kind of like that first couple of tastes of a sour beer. It's really incredible. Raspberry flavour comes through. Jammy tartness, lots of raspberry jamminess coming through. The drinkability on the beer is incredible. I should be able to get the rest of the beer now into the into the glass. I've been personally so impressed with this this Tesco range of beer. They've they've launched something like 30 different canned and bottled craft beers into the Tesco extra stores. Just to see I suppose what people people think of them. Last year they they introduced a few, maybe 6 or 7 they must have done really well because this year, April, and they launched on April the 1st, of all days, of all the days, they launched on April the 1st, and there was a lot of people thinking, really? Is it really gonna happen or is it just one big joke? And, and lo and behold, they were all there. I went down the second, they were all there um, in my lo local Tesco Extra st store. And for three pound a can, it's just sensational. The variety, the range, you can get IPAs, American Pale Ales, double IPAs, sour beers, fruit beers. It's just, it's just amazing. Stouts, porters, um, it's, the, the, the range of beers in Tesco's is fantastic at the moment. And for three pound a can, it's absolutely terrific. It really is terrific. That is fantastic. That is a really, really good beer. And it's three pound, well spent for me that is a three pound the best three pound i've ever spent on a beer i'd say you don't get much for three pound anymore but you get to have one of these lovely raspberry hibiscus sour ales
How does it pair with the pie? Left it for a couple of minutes. I don't have a plate. I'm just gonna try and wing it here. There we go. Oh, look at this. Lovely smell to the short crust pastry. A little bit of minced beef spillage there. Oh. Really hot. Mm. Perfect lunchtime bit of warm food. It's April outside and we've kind of snapped back. We've had this like real cold blast of air coming from all the way from Russia down to us in April and it's just downright annoying because there's times in there's times the other week when I was sunbathing in, in my t-shirt in the garden and now I'm back to eating warm pies on lunchtime just to keep myself warm. It's about eight degrees out there, it's freezing. Mmm. Lots of filling in this pie. I feel it's probably a knife and fork job. I thought with it being a, a microwave pie, it might be a little bit kind of light on the on the on the middle of it. I'm gonna get rid of this pastry for you guys. There we go. But no, not late on late light on the filling at all. Oh, oh, blimey! Oh, caught me on the back burner on that one. That caught me by surprise. Molten meat on my fingers there. Yeah, maybe eat it with a knife and fork. But I suppose for a, for a microwave pie, you don't, you just want to grab hold of it, don't you? you don't, if you're going to microwave something, generally, you may not want to get a knife and fork. You may be on the go, you might be walking, or, or, or just not able to have a knife and fork. So maybe, maybe they can find a better way of holding the pie together. But the short crust is lovely, the meat is tasty. There's no grisly bits in the pie. The beer is fantastic, a really good pairing today. Just feel, okay, we've covered the pie. We all know what a minced beef. Even you guys in America, Australia, around the world. It's just a bit of pastry with some gravy and minced meat with some onion tastes really good I'm really interested in this hibiscus sour to be honest I'm it's just such a, a real good deal for three pounds I just want to see if there's real fruit in the beer uh, much like its namesake the hummingbird this beer has got a lot going on uh, built on a solid base of four different malts it offers a smooth well-rounded body Cattle soured with a generous addition of fresh raspberry puree. There we go. So fresh raspberry. Uh, then recirculated through a meadow's worth of hibiscus flowers. Uh, the end result is a beautifully balanced sour beer with enough sweet sweetness and body to counteract the acidity and tartness. Not only delicious, pour it in your glass and marvel at the beautiful berry pink hue. Hooray for science. Yeah, it's really good. And then talking about this, the brewer's talking about the the sweetness from the fruit counteracting the sourness. Yeah, I get that. I get that. There's a nice sourness to it. You don't want it, I suppose, for a three pound beer in Tesco, you don't want it too sour because you might scare people away. People might be like, boom, you know, if you give them a real sour beer, 
because there's real sour beers out there it might scare them away a bit so i think this is just another it's a stepping stone beer to to to, to the vast world of, of craft beer for the people who are getting involved and getting interested it's a lovely stepping stone let's rate it for three pound that is going to be in my fridge all summer long as soon as that weather out there becomes really warm really hot that is going to be most definitely next to me at the barbecue or, or when i start smoking my food in the summer and i bought a smoker by the way uh, i'm going to start smoking food for the first time i'm going to research how to do it um but yeah i like that enough to give it a nine out of ten four pure hummingbird raspberry hibiscus sour nine out of ten as for the pie really tasty i want to let it cool down a bit and get into it it's really kind of like oh i'm hungry and it's a proper pucker pie it's really tasty and for four minutes in a microwave you can't go wrong really i like that enough also to give it an eight out of ten thanks for watching please put your comments in the comments box subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews give us a big fat thumbs up boom and cheers